Doug Nichols, the mayor of Yuma, Arizona, is our guest right now. Let's put up those numbers that are being referred to. We have the July border encounters, and they, they are down, uh, Mr. Mayor. There you go. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, down 20% from June, as we said, and the lowest monthly number since February 2021. So the numbers are the numbers. They are down So they're since the executive order, but what do you say? Well, they're down, but uh, compared to just the year before, they're not necessarily down compared to maybe a historical average or anywhere close to where an historical average would be. So, you know, you have to kind of the numbers you can make play however you want to make them play. And and I think that's kind of the message is we're so far into this crisis. There's so much that uh, we've we've covered and set records year over year that to say we're down is yeah, it's good news, but it isn't great news. It isn't news that uh, sets the record. No, I get it. The perspective is important. Talk about where you were. Talk about where you're going. It, it's going to become, if it already hasn't, a, a big part of this presidential campaign, right? Because we know that if you look at the uh, approval ratings, for example, on an issue, this is a weak issue for Kamala Harris. It's always been a strong issue recent years, especially for Republicans and, and Trump. So Harris the other day was interesting. Her point was basically, and by the way, we have, we may see her live. Uh, it, she's coming back from Houston. Uh, she was there to deliver the eulogy uh, for the congresswoman. So we're watching her at the on the tarmac in Houston. So here she is, though, at that rally, big rally she had in Atlanta. Her basic points are, oh, Trump's not really walking the walk compared to what he's saying. Here's what she said. He tanked, tanked the bipartisan deal because he thought it would help him win an election, which goes to show Donald Trump does not care about border security. He only cares about himself. And when I President, I will work to actually solve the problem. All right, Mayor Nichols, you're there. This is uh, your perspective is what? Well, so my perspective is to wait three and a half years into an administration in order to make any sort of positive change uh, on the uh, the way the border is managed is also political. So I, I get what the vice president is saying that the, the president's trying to angle into a political position, and it probably is. That's politics, but. Waiting three and a half years isn't just politics, it's neglect. So from that perspective, um, she has not reached out to me. She's not reached out to anybody in Yuma County. She hasn't done anything positive along the border in those three and a half years. So to blame one bill or the failure of one bill that honestly didn't really have much of a chance um, on the outset, it had a lot of great things in it, but it didn't have enough support. Well, the only thing I'd say, it had this executive action, essentially, what was put in there in it, right? And this did, did help those numbers. Like, you, again, we understand, like you said, we know what we're coming off of, but that was in the bill. Definitely. And that was a great part of the bill. There was other parts that weren't as great. Um, but definitely, that just only goes to say that the president could have done that three years before. Right. Because every president before Biden, including uh, Trump and including President Obama, had used the same laws on the books to enact policies that were effective. And this president waited to make that happen. And and to what end? I don't I don't even understand why that he would wait to make such a, an effective change happen. Understood. So you said Biden administration acted uh, too late. It seems like you acknowledge that you know, Trump, for political reasons, as we've talked about over and over, killed that bill. Maybe it, it would have helped on the margins because we see it. What about what's next, right? Because now we're going to see an argument where Harris is going to say, she's already started to say, she'll keep that executive action in place. She'll push for the bill to be passed. Trump is going to say, I'm going to be more aggressive, you know, deportation, deportation, all that. What do you say? What, what should happen next? Well, definitely, we need to have policies like that in place, uh, and more so, because there, that one policy isn't going to fix the border situation. Whereas, you know, we know how President Trump used uh, policies back in 2019 when we were experiencing a dramatic uptick. Within three to four months, the situation was reversed, not three to four years. And so from the, the president, what he'll do is probably more on the, the Remain in Mexico type of activity Whereas um, the the um, expedited removal, which is what's happening now, is effective. It, it's been effective since President Obama had put that kind of policy in place. But until uh, it is uniform across the border, we're not going to see drops in every sector. Yuma sector's down. San Diego and Tucson sectors are up. All right, Mayor uh, Doug Nichols, Yuma, Arizona. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. We're going to get back to the breaking news we've been. Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.